A very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, a special warm welcome to all our incredible fans. Uh, our media friends, uh, great that you could join us and people watching us live uh, through all our social channels. Uh, I am Anuj and I lead marketing at Xiaomi India. Uh, now let's get to where, why we are all here, the Redmi Note 6 Pro. The Redmi Note 5 Pro was the best-selling dual camera device in the country. We have taken things even further with the Redmi Note 6 Pro. As you can see, we've given it an incredible tagline, a quad camera all-rounder. It is a Note, it is an all-rounder, and now it comes with four cameras, but not just that, a whole lot more. Let's talk about the cameras. Uh, with the Redmi Note 6 Pro, we are bringing in our first quad camera setup to the country. And with the Note 6 Pro, it also takes things a lot further. Uh, it's not just a quad camera for the name of it, but it changes things significantly. Let's look at the primary camera and how we've changed this. Now, the primary camera actually is comprising of a 12 megapixel high performance sensor. Now, this captures all your key images. Along with that, there is a 5 megapixel depth sensor. There's another segment that we've been focusing on at Xiaomi, which is to improve your overall photography experience when the light conditions are a bit more challenging. Now, there are a lot of changes that we've done to the camera. However, I'd like to take your focus to a few of them uh, from a hardware perspective. Number one is for the first time on the Note series, you're using a wider f1.9 aperture. Now, with this aperture, what we've also changed is the camera sensor itself. Now, the camera sensor here has a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. With the Note 6 Pro, you also get faster focusing. Uh, of course, uh, this is something that we spoke about with the Note 4 as well, and then the Note 5, is we introduced something called PDAF, or phase detection autofocus. Now, how that works is roughly about 5% of your pixels are actively finding this focus and helping you focus faster on objects. Uh, so Note 5 Pro, obviously, you saw, is an incredible camera. But with the Note 6 Pro, we are taking this to a whole new level. What you get is dual pixel autofocus. That means all, 100% of the pixels, are helping you find this focus. Uh, the re net result is a much, much faster focusing speed for all your photographs, especially when it comes to challenging light conditions. Let's take a look at how, uh, how much difference it makes when you're looking at this focusing speed. So on your left is the Redmi Note 5 Pro, and this one is the Note 6 Pro. In all conditions, whether it's color or a little more detailed one, the Note 6 Pro focuses a lot faster than the Note 5 Pro. We also have kept electronic image stabilization. For the first time ever on the Redmi Note, we've got AI scene detection. Uh, now, why is this such a big deal? All of us, almost everyone, when we take a picture, we end up editing. Right? So we would go to the picture, try and play around with the contrast, or maybe try and change the overall saturation levels. But here's the harsh reality. Only 2% actually know what they're doing. Remaining 98, me included, have no idea how to get the best possible image out. Yeah? And this is where our R&D team, our camera R&D team, has worked really hard, working through thousands and thousands of images for each scene to, get, to develop a really powerful learning algorithm. And it detects different scenes and gives you the best possible image. So a wider f1.9 aperture with a massive 1.4 micron pixel size. Dual pixel autofocus for incredibly fast focus, electronic image stabilization, and now AI scene detection. All of them work together to give you a, a flagship level AI dual camera experience. But it is a dual camera. And the reason we have dual cameras is because we want better portraits. And with I mean, I'm just jumping the gun here, but with the Note 6 Pro, it's just taking it to the next level altogether. Of course, what you know about Xiaomi's portrait mode is it works really, really well. We've got our own AI semantic segmentation, which is able to differentiate the subject from the background 
and really get you those beautiful blurs. You get incredible portrait shots, ready to go up on Instagram or any of your social channels at all times. Uh, really good profile pictures. But like I said, with the Note 6 Pro, we are taking portrait photography to the next level altogether. Uh, that we are calling AI Portrait 2.0. What you get is you get adjustable bokeh. You get studio lighting and light trails. Let me talk about each of these and why they're important. Adjustable bokeh. What you do is, of course, you get an incredible portrait shot with the Note 6 Pro. But now the power goes back to the user where you can decide how much bokeh you want to apply. All you need to do is go to the gallery and you see the, the portrait icon up top. Click on this. And then after that, you get that control. Number two, we've added studio lighting. Again, something that you see on flagships. Uh, how studio lighting works is, again, with our semantic segmentation, we are able to understand where the subject is, remove the background, and give you this really beautiful, dramatic shot. Uh, not just that, we've gone a step further, and we let you do various customizations, different effects. So you've got a rainbow effect coming in. You've got cinematic effect, again, really dramatic. You've got a blinds effect. And there are total six of this. So six different uh, portrait effects coming in on the Note 6 Pro. The next one that I want to talk about is also uh, really significant for this segment, which is light trails. Uh, now, this is coming for the first time on the Note series. What you can see is uh, those lights at the back. Now, what you can do is apply effects like this. So this is a swirl effect, which is dynamic. Not just this, you've got six different dynamic bokeh effects. For example, the light circles, or diamonds. And when Rohit is with me fans, the, to capture his mood, hearts. So what you do get is, for the first time ever, you get dynamic bokeh as well on the Note 6 Pro. Uh, once you've done this dynamic bokeh, what you can do is you can easily capture this either as an image, which is the final image, or as a video, which can be readily shared on any of your platforms. Let me talk about the two cameras up front. Now, these are also really cool, where you've got a 20 megapixel primary camera, and this is clubbed with a 2 megapixel. The 20 megapixel also comes with uh, a super pixel technology, where it bins four pixels together to form an effective size of a 1.8 micron massive pixel size. So essentially, in low light condition, it helps you take in a lot more light and give you better low light selfies like this one. We have in the front camera kept AI Beautify, which detects uh, your overall skin, uh, analyzes that, and digitally applies kind of a makeup. Uh, we've added AI scene detection to the front camera, uh, not just the back. But the front camera also gets AI scene detection for the first time ever. And uh, this one can detect up to 12 categories. The Redmi Note 6 Pro comes with this incredible Snapdragon 636. Now, this is an octa-core processor having a big little architecture, which means there are four performance cores, which give you that performance boost when you need it. And then you've got four cores, which are more towards the battery efficiency, getting you the better, better battery life, which, again, the Note is known for. So all of that works well together. The Note 6 Pro will come with up to 6 gigs of DDR4X RAM. Now, this is the fastest RAM available for phones in the market. And like I was talking about optimizations, the Note 6 Pro is capable of launching apps almost 30% faster. And how this happens is thanks to optimizations that are coming in on MIUI 10. Yes, this will be the first Xiaomi device in India to ship with MIUI 10 on day one. The Note 6 Pro is dual SIM, dual Volte. Uh, but what's also interesting is, uh, suppose you are on SIM 1, and that's your primary SIM, and that's where your data is, and you get a call coming in. The system can, if you enable it, and that's in the settings, move that data to SIM 2. So you're not disconnected. Even if you're on a long call, your data keeps flowing through. Now, these are small, meaningful in innovations which kind of help make an all-rounder. Normally, when you switch on hotspot, it uses your 4G data. 
on the Node 6 Pro, it has something that we are calling Wi-Fi pass-through. Where you, if you are connected to a Wi-Fi which has an internet connectivity, it will take that internet connectivity and almost act like a repeater where you can connect multiple devices. Of course, it won't be a note if it didn't have a big battery. So you get a 4,000 mAh, two-day battery life, under heavy usage. Now it supports Quick Charge 3.0. Now in the box, it'll come with a 10-watt charger, but you can head over to me.com and pick up a quick charger uh, at a really honest price. Now this is the Note 5 Pro. Now what Note 5 Pro brought in the 18 is to 9 aspect ratio to our uh, portfolio. With the Note 6 Pro, what we've done is we've extended the screen even further. Uh, now this is a massive 6.26 inch display. It is a full high definition plus uh, with a PPI of about 403. And what we, we did kind of retain here while we extended the screen is a notch. Now, why is this notch important? Because that, it does a whole bunch of things. You've got two cameras in the front, which we spoke about. You've got a redesigned earpiece with a changed metal mesh. You've got a notification light. You've got proximity and light sensors. All of that kind of compressed into that small area. It is protected against your daily wear and tear with Corning Gorilla Glass. So you get a 19 to 9 full screen display with notch. You can turn that notch off if you want. Uh, you get a full high definition display. And we've also improved the overall sunlight legibility by taking this up to a whopping 500 nits. Now this is a much better, much more brighter display than any of our notes till date. Uh, it does come with an improved curve design. It's an aluminum build. Uh, the overall curvature has been increased so that you get a better hand feel. But not just that, we've taken our arc design, which a lot of me fans loved, and increased the curvature on the edges as well. Now, it's a very subtle change, but makes a whole lot of difference when you're holding the phone. It just improves the overall grippability of the device. Here's the, the Note 6 Pro in black. Of course, this is the, the favorite color, the classic black. Uh, we are also having the Note 6 Pro in rose gold. Uh, my favorite color, the all-new blue. And the red looks absolutely gorgeous, with the, the entire front also being black. In the headphone jack and charging port, uh, people in Delhi would not really face this, but the people who are staying in coastal areas where there's a lot more humidity and heat, uh, there is a genuine problem of uh, corrosion coming in. Uh, we've added rust protection on the Note 6 Pro. So now, on to our last part, the price. Uh, the price for 4GB, 64GB is going to be 1399. And the price for 6GB, 64GB is going to be 1599. Every single Redmi Note 6 Pro that will be shipped in India will have an ultra slim case inside the box. And because it's coming from the company, you can be assured about quality and fit. Our partner, Reliance Geo, is giving a 2400 rupee instant cash back if you use a Geo SIM along with Redmi Note 6 Pro and plus 6 terabyte of data. The first sale will be at 12 noon tomorrow. And we may also have a few other surprise sales that we will reveal tomorrow at 12 noon only. Now for tomorrow, only for tomorrow, for the Black Friday sale, we are going to have a special price. For tomorrow's Black Friday sale, you can buy a 4GB, 64GB variant for 12,500 and a 6GB, 64GB variant for 14,500 rupees. Soon, this product is also going to be available across all our offline stores, including Me Preferred Partners and all the rural stores that we spoke about. So that's all, guys. Thank you for joining us today.